Hey guys, so after getting the new air guns and air rifles, I wanted to test how fast those pellets go, so I got myself a Pro Chrono Chronograph. This is the Pro Chrono, Pro Chrono Chronograph PAL, which is pretty interesting. It basically measures velocity for pellets, you know, shotguns, you know, arrows, whatever you throw through it, it'll probably, you know, measure it, like paintball and stuff. I ordered it through Amazon Prime along with getting an air filter for my car, and I ordered it last about, what? two nights ago when I did that other video and it came in today so wow super Amazon Prime that was pretty darn fast um, apparently the operation is extremely simple you basically stand 5 to 15 feet away of it shoot through the the V area so it measures it from either 25 or I think it was 20 frames feet per second to up to 7,000 feet per second which is pretty cool um, the projectile sensitivity area is a big V and that's why they have those diffusers on it but operation is, is very uh, simple and also is very light. So let's see what's inside the box. We have the instruction manual, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to read through this a little later. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot of like light stuff and where the reset buttons are and everything else like that and error codes. But overall, pretty straightforward. It's very short. Um, basically, it, wow, you can actually, it needs one nine volt and you know has a tripod mount as well as. Um, yeah, it's a range of 99 uh, shots for the intervals. Anyways, looks like there's two diffusers, which is pretty which is flexible plastic, and four rods. So we could probably just quickly install this. It's not that big of a deal. It's actually pretty straightforward and simple. So taking this thing out, it's very light. It's roughly about um, probably a pound and a half or less. There is the power switch on the side, and also a controller, a serial controller on the side. Pretty straightforward, Prono, um, Pro Chrono Pal, and a little feet there as well. But there's that one quarter inch tripod mount and the nine volt storage compartment that looks like it holds two nine volts. I guess one for a spare, I guess. Uh, it would have been pretty good if this actually had like a AC adapter or something else like that, where we could just plug in a larger battery or USB battery. Uh, but nine volt. Have one, it's probably a, go to a dollar store and buy one. It'll probably last for a full day or something like that, I'm guessing. So, put one in and open the camera, put the thing in, and then put it back in. And let's see what happens. So, let's go ahead and put in the rods and also those uh, sunshades. So, let's see, there's no threads on either side, so I guess you'll put it either way. So, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on one side and then prop it into that um, stand of it. So I'm gonna probably mess up the first one. Maybe I should just put it in the rods in first and then put a thing because it seems like we'll be playing around with this. So yeah, I think the easier way is probably to put in the rods first, then put that um that uh sunshade diffuser thing later because it just seems yeah it works. It still works. Uh, just push it all the way in. Apparently it goes in about a good inch and a half to two inches. So let's go ahead and put the rod in first on both sides. Then I'm going to put the diffuser on. That's a heck of a lot easier to put on. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty simple. Pretty lightweight, pretty simple. I'm sure you can bring this out to the you know shooting range or the field or whatever. And probably just set this thing up really quick. Um, but yeah, with a 9 volt, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It would be nice if it ran on 5 volt, you know, USB or something. That could use like a, a USB charger or something else like that. That would be much more simple. So there you have it. It's installed and stuff, and the battery's inside. Let's go ahead and turn on the power and see what works. The power's actually on the side, along with that little serial connector thing. I don't know what that does. I assume you have to connect up to some sort of other uh, device to get the readings. But powering it on, it looks like it's ready. RDY. So, it's pretty neat. That's it. And then I guess we just throw things through it and make sure there's enough light so you can see it, and then... You know, we can measure how fast things are going by feet per second or meters per second or whatever. You can actually change it. I think uh, with that reset button right there, there's actually a way to change uh, whether it's metric or or English. So pretty cool, good stuff. Um, but yeah, just turning it on, do it. Can't wait to shoot some pellets to this thing as well as some BBs. I heard the BBs are kind of harder to measure because it's shiny. It actually needs a shadow to go through it. I can't wait until I shoot a few arrows to this thing. And see how fast I can shoot some of my arrows. And of course, throw other things through it, like probably this, you know, nerfed um, cow. Anyways, that's really about it, guys. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the Pro Chrono um, Chronograph. And, you know, 
look forward for more videos. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more, you know, of my reviews and stuff like that. See you next time. Have a good one.